It's not as long as y'all have not seen me because I had a video go up, but it was so old when it went up. Anyway, I literally have not filmed for real in over a week. So the last video y'all saw was like almost a week old when I uploaded it. But I'm just here to say what's up, what's good. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you haven't seen me there either. Y'all, I thought I had the vid child. Ooh, I was sick for literally a week. I got sick, today's Monday. I got sick last Monday. And I was up editing a video and I was like, why is this so hard for me? Like, why do I feel so tired? Like, I just need to lay down. Like, I couldn't explain it. And then I had chills and then I was aching and yeah. Then I had a fever, but I only had a fever for a day. But whatever y'all, I was sick and it really, really sucked cause I got sick on August 1st. The first day of the month and I was supposed to I was really planning on filming August 1st and coming back and like saying, you know, we going to start back um, pick up what we left off type thing because y'all know I didn't do shit this summer. I went through a lot and I want to get back on a dare I say it. I'm cutting again. So I was like, all right, so we're going to wait. We're going to do August 1st. What's up? We're going to jump through this thing. We're going to. We wasn't gonna do nothing because I was sick. So I hate that for me because it is now August 8th. It's been a whole week in August. Yay is walking on the damn couch. Um, anyway, so but we good. I had a week. And you know what? Why we talking about that? Let me just say, I feel like stuff has been happening so much like back to back. Cause it was first, y'all know I just wasn't feeling it, went through depression, and um then I was like, okay, I'm good, you know, starting my little medication. I've been in therapy, and then I got sick. So I laid up in the bed for another week as if I haven't been laying in the bed for weeks on end already. And I was like, God, if you just want me to sit my ass down, then just say that. You didn't even have to do all that. But he did because I was not going to sit down. So I don't know. Maybe I just really did need to sit because there was a lot of reflection that happened, y'all, for real. And nothing has like quote unquote changed the issues that were present are still very much prevalent but um i just did a lot of like reflection and deep thinking because i couldn't do shit else because i was laying in the bed and you can only watch so much damn saints and sinners they done now um but yeah like it wasn't nothing else for me to do and then most of the time i felt so bad i didn't even have the tv on i did not care about no tv i was just in agony <laughs> or sleep so anyway with that being said, it's August the 8th, a weekend, and I'm ready to get back. I dare I say, like, I'm ready to, I've already said this, haven't I? But it wasn't my fault, because the last time I said it, I didn't know I was going to get sick. So anyway, y'all, I'm in high spirits, as y'all can tell, so that's always good. Um, I planned on August 1st, like, doing progress pics and all of that again. Like, that, here we go, we're starting up. So since we couldn't do that we're gonna do it today and then i'm getting very late started because i still have not established a new routine for myself because as soon as i got back in the habit of trying to get stuff done like i said i got sick so i'm still very much trying to rebuild my life as what it feels like literally from scratch that's so crazy but i told y'all once um when I got back from my Mexico trip for my birthday, it was like I can't remember what life was like before then. And life has not been great since. Like, basically, I was like, what the hell did I used to do every day? Because it's like, I just felt lost. But anyway, since I couldn't remember, remember, we was like, all right, we just going to build new stuff, get new stuff together. So that's what we doing. So I'm going to um, take my pictures. Um... So, oh my gosh okay yeah we're gonna wait and save this and i'm gonna go put on like a, a bathing suit bottom probably keep this top on it's it's low coverage enough i'm gonna keep this top on and put on the bathing suit bottom and like 
yeah, start documenting this damn progress. And, and what are you gonna do besides walk all on the furniture? What you gonna do? Nothing. Yep, nothing at all. Oh, hi, you are so beautiful, yummy. Mm-hmm. Okay, I took my progress pics. I wanna show y'all, y'all know that YouTube do not like me. So, I don't know, I might just post the pictures on here. I have to see what this look like when I edit it. But, try to show y'all what we got going on. Okay, y'all. Whew. I looked at the old pictures from, when the last time I did this, I think May. And even though my weight is not different, like, uh, I feel like my waist is a little bit more fluffier than it was. Just a little bit, because it's not really a difference in the weight. But basically, I maintained all summer. I mean, I kind of wanted to do that originally. No, I was only supposed to do it for a month. But all summer maintenance. But it's fine, because maintenance is better than fucking fucking up the progress that we made. So I ain't mad. Okay, y'all, quick little gym outfit of the day. I have on this um, sports bra from Bo and T. It's so cute. These are women's best leggings. Um, they're old as hell. These are like my first ones I bought from them. Um, can y'all see the deterioration happening? And then these are the Nike Crater Impact. Yeah, I have two pair of these. One is like black and this is like a a green type of tan with like some little purple detailing. But yes, this is the fit. Y'all haven't seen myself in gym attire in a minute and I absolutely love it. Love it. I look so fucking strong and just, girl, look, girl. Ha! Hey, what's up? I don't need to have no business going to the gym. Not, well, cause first of all, I'm getting over my sickness so I know, I don't know. I feel like I'm really easing back into it. I don't know what I had, y'all, but it was not cool. So, like, it took me forever just to get strength. And even now, I get a little windy. So, I slick don't need to be doing nothing. I know I'm not going to do leg day for damn sure. Um, I think I'm just going to hit some chest and back. Um, try to be very easy with it. Um, I haven't even created a workout plan for me. And since I'm going back into cutting... That ain't even cool, but you know, whatever. I wanted to get content out for you guys because I literally have not filmed in a week and it sucks. So I'm about to make my Oxy Shred. Love this, okay? So this is the, oh my God, yes, let's talk about this. So y'all know I had the gummy snake one and it was okay, but no, mm -hmm, love this. I can't wait to try more flavors. So this is the Cosmic Blast uh, Strawberry. Y'all already know. Snow 10 gonna get you 10% off of your order. And from what I hear from my cohorts at EHP Labs, y'all been running it up. And I appreciate you because do y'all realize that if y'all support me through this link, when EHP Labs has like events and stuff, they will invite me and then I can meet y'all and we just growing and we just doing big things. And do we not want the representation there? Y'all know we want. We want the representation there. We want the green hair, the thick thighs, all that, all that. Put on for them. So, yeah, y'all, check out Oxy Shred for real. I still have, oh my God, perfect timing. Let's do this today. So, y'all know about the greens. I actually had some of those when they were sick. I still have not opened up the Pride yet because I'm saving it for a leg day or the Bahama Oxy Shreds because I wanted to get rid of all my C4 first. But, Let's do, I have the L-carnitine, which I already told you guys about this. It's an assist in like basically uh, fat loss and it's already in the oxy shred. So let's just add some more because we trying to cut. This is perfect for cutting season. So I want to try this product and I can't tell you guys anything really about it now because you, I have, y'all can see it ain't even open, but let's try it now so that when we look back and start looking at, you know, the progress and stuff, we can see, you know, what the carnitine is going to do, the L carnitine. Sorry, you guys. Even though it's already in the oxy shred, let's just see, let's just see. We Let's, let's start our journey with that. So I'm going to mix this on up. I shouldn't be able to taste that. So we're going to do all this together and then we're going to go ahead and go because baby, it's literally. 11 30 y'all i'm not getting to the gym to 12. okay y'all so i'm gonna go in with the oxy shred this is a really good flavor i'm excited i really like it better than the gummy snake the gummy snake was okay i don't know but this is good so make sure 
try I can't tell y'all about nothing else because I like to talk about what I know all right so cosmic glass is a go try that one for your oxy shred until I get word on the other flavors um and then I'm going to put in this l carnitine and see how this affects me what we got going on like I said it shouldn't be anything too different since it's already in the um the oxy shred but I definitely need to start incorporating this and it's just a white powder it actually should be uh tasteless for the most part oh my god y'all know i hate having to find that ball head ass scooper oh there you go okay so the scooper and this is really small too it's nothing like the scooper that's in the oxy shred this is tiny oh my gosh look that little bitty scoop oh my god it's so cute that was so cute. I'm going to just I want to taste it like on my fingers. It's a little sour like. But once I said, once I mix it up in here, I actually shouldn't taste it. And you can take like two scoops a day. But don't be thinking, oh my God, since it ate in fat loss, I'm just going to take a shit ton of it. No, you're not. Because <laughs> your body can only absorb so much anyway. So you'll just be wasting it. Keep that in mind. Y'all, don't be trying to do no shortcuts. Y'all know what it is. I forgot this bra was not a good bra for, like, benching. So I probably won't do no benches today. Because I definitely forgot. I tried to jump rope in this bra. Y'all, it was not fun. I don't know what I'm doing, actually. I hate not knowing what I'm doing in the gym. It's a waste of time. So y'all gonna have to see how this play out. You should always plan and know what you about to do when you go to the gym. Like, this is, I'm about to wait. <laughs> I should have had my shit together. But, so on brand not to, right? Oh, my God. Yes. Still A1. That Cosmic Blast. Let me show y'all again. Great. Awesome. So good. Let's go to the gym. Okay, y'all, I don't know why I thought I was about to talk to y'all in this doggone gym and the music was super loud. I don't want to be copyrighted and you can barely hear me anyway. So I was just complaining about me getting to the gym really late. And so because of that, it's just super busy. There was no benches available. So I jumped on the elliptical for 10 minutes and that literally like wiped me out because I haven't got my strength back um, from being sick. So I got on the incline bench as you guys will see in a minute and you'll just see my strength is freaking trash. And I'm literally just complaining about it for like two minutes. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into the workout. All right, guys. So we're starting this workout with an incline bench press. This is a measly 65 pounds. I'm not proud of this, happy about this or whatever. But literally, y'all, I'm recovering from being sick for a whole week. So I told y'all, like, my strength is not there. Now I'm so sad because guess what? I couldn't even do 10 reps of this. This was eight reps. And I was so upset. And I was like, what the hell? Like, strength is just not there. I'm struggling with 65 pounds. I cannot believe it. I'm super duper sad about it. But we're moving on. So I did actually start off with the 45 pounds. Look at me disappointed. <laughs> I started off with the bar first to warm up. So then I added 10 more pounds, five on each side. And I'm like, okay, y'all, let's pray that I can even move this. Because that's how weak I was feeling. And I still think I managed to get this up eight times. Um, probably should have just stuck with the 65 and pushed for two more reps to get it to 10. But I was so ashamed that I was only moving 65 pounds, but this ain't nothing but doggone 75 now. So like, yeah, not my best work, but I digress. We got it, I'm sad, we're moving on. So the next exercise is going to be a seated overhead press. So this is mostly gonna be like chest and back, but like I said, y'all, this workout was all over the place cause I had no plan, but don't worry about it. We got it in the rest of the video. I'm gonna tell you guys how I'm gonna structure my workout cause I had to like stop just jumping around in the gym. So anyway, seated overhead press, this was light work. It is 30 pounds on this like uh, fixed barbell. So that's still a little light for me cause I usually could do a regular barbell, which is 45. And then I wanted to go ahead and hit some biceps since we was here. And this is actually good. I don't do biceps a lot cause you know, like I kind of focus on compound movements. So not really isolated, especially not for like arms because yeah, I'm a leg day girl. So this wasn't out of the ordinary for me and I got through that. Now, I wanted to hit some back, so I did a row, and this is just a seated row. It's a different variation. You, I put a, looks like a 45, oh, no, I did 45 in the 10, so this is 55 pounds. 
that's pretty standard for what I would do. So I have nothing to say about this either. But also working out my back, I'm way stronger like in my back than my like chest and arms anyway. So my chest press and all of that is what I really be trying to do the most on because it's just very hard for me. So the last move I'm going to do here is another variation of a chest press. And this was okay too. I'm doing 55 pounds. So like kind of still the same like with the incline. But it's a machine. So you know it's a little different. But I got through that no problem. And I was just looking at myself like why was this workout so damn hard for me to do but anyway we got through it that's all that matters we push we push until we succeed okay y'all obviously we back home so i don't know what that was but it doesn't matter like i could not not go to the gym and be like oh or better yet i could not have not like filmed and been like well i didn't film because like i didn't have my shit together because obviously that's been a freaking trend so like if you keep waiting to get your shit together you're gonna be waiting for a long time speaking personally i don't know about y'all but <laughs> anyway my biggest issue of course we all know is the food so I still, my appetite has been kind of non-existent. It's one o'clock. I don't want to eat. I really just want to get my orders out. But we are cutting, which, you know, not eating is a great thing, I guess. It's not. It's really not, y'all. But um, I don't have an appetite. I do have my little egg bites in here, even though I want to make my little turkey bacon. But I don't want it. I don't know what the hell is up with my appetite. It food just really is not appeasing and when I was sick I did not eat at all and that's not cool y'all it don't do what you think it do I'm trying to tell you <sighs> um but what the hell am I gonna eat these little egg bites or am I gonna make some egg whites and eat turkey bacon y'all don't get a dog I'm just kidding he's not doing nothing anyway yeah let me go ahead and warm up this dog on turkey bacon and just just force it force it because we gotta track this shit okay y'all we are about to assemble our breakfast sandwich that i don't want <laughs> oh my gosh i mean i don't want to be hungry because it's going to be harder to do what i need to do but i also don't want to not be hungry at all that i don't want to eat it's not going to do what i need it to do so this is just egg whites y'all know the de uh, deal 82 grams of egg whites. I have a slice of Gouda cheese that I melted on there. And literally three slices of um, turkey bacon. And y'all, this is the God Shouts turkey bacon. Um, it tastes okay, but I think that I want to go back to center cut. Now, these three slices are 135 calories, whereas center cut for two is 60. So, for another one, okay, it's literally about the same. Mmm, mmm, give or take. Y anyway, yeah. I'm going to have to really go and look today because if center cut bacon is sleek the same, which I think it is because I already think I've been through this, what the hell am I eating this turkey bacon for? So, the turkey bacon smells vinegary to me. At least the God Shouts one. I don't like that. But, child, this is what we got today. So, when I go to the store, I might need to make note of that. And I'm going to try something a little different. Never done this before. I'm going to put some sriracha mayo on here. Whew, child. Not too much, though. <laughs> Y'all know that TikTok? Not too much, though. Because I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this is my breakfast sandwich. You know. Hopefully the light gonna just... Come on, light. Get with it. There we go. So, while I'm eating this sandwich that I don't want, uh, we need to talk about, like, what we doing as far as food. Because y'all know, again, that's the biggest fucking shit for me. Food is just not appeasing right now. And Yummy ate all his food. Now he want to go outside. Oh, and he peed on me earlier. He still do his excitement pee. I literally bent down, y'all. I got on my, like, you know, I crouched down to rub on him and love him. Start peeing on my leg. I cannot wait till that shit is over. Like, I can't even give the dog affection because he peed. I only can do it outside because he won't pee. Um, but it's funny because when we sitting on the couch, he don't or in the bed but like when i bend over the couch he'll do it i don't know anyway um 
as much as we talked about like bill prepping and it is a very very good idea because you know the whole saying about if you don't i always fuck this up <laughs> if you don't plan you'll you took you were planning to fail or y'all know what i'm trying to say basically if you don't make no plan you already set yourself up for failure okay whatever <laughs> um so meal planning or meal prepping sorry is a very good idea we know this but i've always been a like you know realistically um in, like lifestyle type of person i never except for when i did keto which was a very very horrible time in life it was never just like quick fix what we're gonna do so that's why i don't want to meal prep because i know that's something that i just fucking not gonna wanna do and it's it's not just gonna be it's not gonna be sustainable for me. And then also I wanted to like basically put myself on a meal plan and where I'm kinda like eating the same things. Hmm that I'm really fighting back and forth with because all that really does it's not like oh you eating certain things it's a magical food to help you lose weight or whatever no it's not that but it is that first of all when it comes to counting you already know because you've been eating the same thing kind of and also it just is easier like but i don't feel like that's realistic i just really want to be somebody that child be, i took him look at and be like you ain't gotta do all that type shit you know but me also trying to be that person has like that's my fault it's not nobody else's fault but it'd be like because i don't want to do like what everyone else is doing basically because you don't have to but it also just makes shit so much slower for me so y'all know like i'm almost a full 20 pounds down from my highest weight but baby it's been years so like of course it should have been way quicker or could have been i ain't gonna say should have been way quicker but i really don't care i like to live my life and i really started going to the gym i did let me not lie because i'm gonna say i started to go to the gym because that's just what i like to do but no it, it did start with like okay i don't like my body but then it was just like I really like the gym so again we all know when i first started going to the gym i was like okay well i'm just gonna work out and i didn't change my eating at all which was another thing but whatever my point is i just want people to know that like getting healthier or like living a healthier lifestyle trying to get your shit together it does not have to be as extreme as a lot of people make it but people also do what works for them so that's why some people eat the same thing because that's just easier for them that's why some people meal prep because it's just easier for them Baby, I need to find what's easier for me and stop trying to, um, basically, I guess I feel like I'm trying to show people something, you know, that you, like, basically, what did I just say? I want to show people that you don't have to do X, Y, and Z because you don't. And there are people who are just like that. They just, whatever. But it also still boils down to what works for you. Um, and then for the longest, y'all know, I didn't want to count calories because I didn't think that was going to work for me. I mean, it works, but not something I want to do. And I still don't care for that. And I'm not very consistent with that, if we're being honest. The longest I've been consistent with it is about two months. And even then, I fucked up a lot. But it was still okay because I was being aware. So really, y'all, like, what works for me? I don't even think I know. This whole journey has been me trying to get into like what's working for me i know the gym works for me i love it weightlifting works for me some people have a hard time finding like you know a form of exercise that they enjoy and at least that wasn't the case i know exactly what i like to do but i haven't found what works for me is in terms of when i have different goals so since i'm trying to lose body fat i have no idea i know that meal planning well, I keep saying meal planning. Meal prepping may work for me. Counting calories work, whatever. But I need to find something that works for me that I can actually do. And I was supposed to been doing that, but then again, y'all know life happened. So I don't think I'm going to meal prep because I hate it. <laughs> like, no, I don't like cooking. And then you have to be in the kitchen for like an hour. And I know it's like, well, but that was your food for the week or whatever. I don't even think I want to eat the same thing for a week. And then I was like, okay, well, let's just do a couple of days. But then the way that I eat is no really point in prepping it. Because y'all know I like salmon. Throw it in the air fryer with my microwave rice and my um, veggies that go in the microwave. I mean, we don't really need to prep that. So I feel like I should just stay doing that. And at most when I cook like ground beef or something. But they don't even take 30 minutes. So... I don't know. I'm really just speaking out loud. But I know me eating. I'm going to eat the same things, quote unquote, but not 
like some people literally eat the same shit i know one person in mine jazz jackson looks totally amazing and okay see but even though she looks so good and she does have all this discipline i just really really want to let everybody you don't have to do that though like that and it's, that's what works for her that's fine it's great but then there's other people that are bodybuilders and or they have a physique like one they kind of live that way and they or like leanna d i hope i'm saying her name right i love her she plans her meals for the week but it's not the same every week right a lot of people do that but when i was talking about like jazz jackson like she literally been eating the same shit for like months like same shit and that's fine it works for her she looks great but most people not gonna do that and don't want to do that so i don't want to do that i know i don't want to do that like i can do it more so like like liana and um just have it for the week which is what i need to be doing now i be rambling like hell y'all just talking i be talking to y'all like as i'm thinking shit out <laughs> so yeah anyway i'm not i be dragging shit all right i'm going to decide what i want to eat this week i have a piece of salmon in the freezer already and um, I'm going to Tennessee this week because we're having a family reunion. But I don't think I'm going to leave it Friday. Yeah, I'm not. So I still need today. Well, I have salmon. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Three days. I'm probably just going to get some ground beef because I really been wanting ground beef and rice. There you go. There's the meal. <laughs> Basically. Hey, y'all. I done went to the store and packed orders and everything. Um, we are about to talk about the workout split coming up. But um, I made a, like, blue cheese and hot sauce chicken wrap. And I didn't want to show y'all because y'all know how my wraps be. They ugly, but they good. Mmm. This is literally so easy. Um, it's the Just Bear Chicken in a low-carb wrap with lettuce and blue cheese dressing and hot sauce. Chef's kiss. Great. I'm going to be eating these all week, like, for my lunch. Okay, y'all, so let me give y'all this so that I can uh, get ready for bed. I have to clean up. Oh, yeah, I'm implementing new habits. So, <laughs> um, I had this revelation. This is so unrelated. But I had this revelation one night that I was like, my mom cleans the kitchen every night. And when you say that, you know how some people be like, oh, I clean the kitchen every night. And they do for the most part. But, like, no. Like, literally, I cannot remember one time in which she actually did not like she went to bed with food not like every night like every single night and i'm like why am i not like this i feel like most people aren't like how we they used to be back in the day like we will let if a, like not me but if we say we clean our kitchen every night that means that three or four times out the week the kitchen is clean every night but literally every night and so all that is is like it's just she's so used to it and it's just a habit that's every day that they don't even feel right if it's not done and so anyway basically the person that i'm trying to create myself to be has certain habits and it's not stuff that we're doing it's part of their identity because this is who they are right so like i go to the gym and then you guys know for the longest like we kind of talked about earlier it's not necessarily for weight loss or whatever because i've been doing it it's just who i am so no matter what's going on whether i'm trying to lose weight or i'm not i'm good i ain't trying to change nothing about the way i look i'm still gonna go to the gym because it's part of my identity now right so i want to be i'm not gonna say i'm gonna clean the kitchen every night but i do want to be way more put together physically which is why i did my hair today i actually got on a little outfit today y'all didn't see it but you know i got on my phone runners like i just literally kicked my damn leg up in the camera point blank period i'm trying to be more put together so i have to put myself together every day they don't have to be makeup or whatever but also keep the house more together so that i don't have to clean constantly because i kind of keep stuff clean for the most part and then i have like a day that i need to deep clean like use the vac mop and stuff anyway that was so unrelated but basically yeah i'm trying to do, be done with this so that i can straighten up this kitchen um start cooking my ground beef for dinner and that's gonna be my day because i have to plan out the rest of my week because it is a lot going on but anyway i'm gonna put this on the screen because i was gonna just screenshot it from my phone but the way that it is is not yeah i'm gonna have to put it on the screen for y'all because like i have um like acronyms and stuff and or like basically like deep kb swing people might not know that a kb swing is a kettlebell swing so anyway i do all that for y'all so i'm just gonna verbally say it so um upper body upper body number one 
it's gonna be chest focused so we're gonna do a bench press and i don't do like sets and reps because i always start with the weight and work up so for instance let's just say monday we are not gonna start with um the 105 even though we know i can do it because i y'all as y'all seen today like my strength was not there so i have to check the weight but i'll start with a weight um that i I'll do a warm-up and then i'll start with a weight that i can only do six reps and then eight reps and then 10 reps and then 12 reps and then you move up the weight so that's why i don't have like three by seven or you know what i'm saying like how many sets and reps um actually that's a lie it's going to be three sets but the reps i have to see what my strength and stuff looking like when i start recording my workout so sorry but bench press we got a barbell push-up sorry also let me mention that that's because i don't just like make a program like oh i'm gonna do three reps of 10 that's what i'm doing is i try to push myself so i might be able to do more or you know what i'm saying less depending on how i feel like today so that's why i don't do that anyway bench press barbell push-up but y'all probably don't know what the hell that is so that's you can do it from the ground but that's so advanced because you have to be stabilized so that the barbell doesn't move so you guys will have to see because you know i'm gonna film it eventually um the barbell will actually be stationed like on the squat rack or something and i'm gonna use it to push myself up because i can't i can do a full body push-up on the floor but like to uh, a db fly or sorry dumbbell fly and you can do that different ways. There's different variations for a lot of things. So you guys will really just have to be watching the flip vlog, the fit vlogs, because I can't really explain every damn episode, every damn episode, every damn uh, exercise. And then you probably don't know what I'm talking about anyway. So let me just give you the the breakdown: a dumbbell fly, chest press on the machine, lat pull down, and then a face pull. And then on hammy and glute day, we got Romanian deadlifts, RDL hip thrust a dumbbell single um romanian deadlift a kettlebell swing and hamstring curls and then upper uh by upper body upper body yes upper body day number two which is more back focus is gonna be a bench press again a pendulero which is a back movement it looks kind of like a conventional deadlift is where you're gonna start on the floor with the barbell instead of like below your shins or your knees anyway a kettlebell roll and that's gonna be again y'all have to just watch because some of these i haven't done before like this is new stuff i'm trying to incorporate like new moves um chest press machine again and seated row and then for quads and glutes on friday we're gonna have hack squats bulgarian split squats hip thrust kickbacks and leg extensions Woke up this morning, can't remember nothing Two bitches just flew up from London And I think I remember they calling me daddy The mansion was covered in money Went to sleep with my jewelry and chains on Had to wake up and recount the money I got a bitch, she gon' kill for real Talking about Clyde and Bunny Who with the kid? Cop it, got it Pull up with a stick, stop it Rich nigga shit, stop Rich nigga, oh, I ain't the pockets riding Got it, I go to space with the stars I smoke a blunt on my pilot okay guys so that's the day this is my dinner basically a hamburger cheeseburger in a bowl i did add cheese i got in 10,000 steps today i'm super excited because i didn't even do cardio at the gym besides the 10 minutes on elliptical that i did like before i did my actual workout because i usually walk after but i didn't really have time and oh my god i still hit 10k steps i'm super duper excited about that today was a great day um i have my week planned out and i'm super duper excited like i keep saying i'm super excited i'm excited i am happy because y'all know it's a long time coming just even having one good successful day doing what i was supposed to do is great because baby it has been a struggle thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me and kicking it with me do not forget to check out ehp labs y'all do not be sleeping on ehp use snow 10 get your dog on 10 percent off okay and be lit because it is lit i can't wait to go through all the other supplements with you guys i can't wait to go through my new workout routine with you guys and yeah i'm gonna see you guys in my next video